Hello everyone, Spectre here, back in with another Marvel Content of Champions video. We're getting the 4 to 5 gem for a 6 star in a couple days, and you can only use it on X Magicka Champions, Magic Thief Champions, and also Null. Which is very fun, I find very funny, because it's just like, yeah, you can use it on these tag champions, and it's like, also you get Null. It's like that one Family Guy bit, where it's like, it's introducing all the, all the Griffins, and it's like, and Meg. So, I thought that was kind of funny, but before we get on to the um, the tier list, let me uh, let me go over all the tiers. So, number one option, you know, self-explanatory, your favorite champ, I believe that is the quintessential number one option. Then we got the best of the best. Great, but there's a seven star version. So, basically, when the best of the best, there's no seven star version as of recording this. Great, but a uh, seven star version basically just means like, they could belong here, but they exist as a seven star. Like, so I, I just think it's good, good to point that out because you know sometimes you might not want to rank five someone you get as a seven star. So just just wanna, I just wanted to throw this tier out like in here just in case you know you have the seven star version. Then you might not want to rank five the six star version because you have the seven star. Then we have great. These, these are some really good champions, but, you know, not best of the best, and also don't, they're not in the 7-star uh, tag, either because they're not at this A level, or they just don't have a 7-star version. Then we have the OK, which, you know, OK champions, certainly not bad. I don't think there's really, there's like a whole lot of really bad champions. You know, those, as you can see, the bad champions are the smallest out of all the tiers by a by a lot, except for the best of the best. But I mean, once again, a lot of these could go in best of the best. But I just have the you know seven star uh, version tier list thingy. But yeah, so there's only a couple in the in the not great options tier, and then also we have the I don't know tier. So these are basically characters that just came out, like Serpent or you know the. the and the destroyer who you know we don't have in game yet like content creators i don't think have played them yet then we have the unknown characters that we know we're getting as well as deathless Groot. so yes also magic is on here but she does not exist as a seven or six or seven star so you don't have to worry about you know her factoring into the uh, who do I want to use the gem on because it's like you can't use her, the gem on her because she's not a six star and so Yeah, I think the we got a little introductory out here So let's start at the S plus tier number one option your favorite champion of course at the end of the day This is a game use your favorite champion or get your favorite champion up as high as you want rank fives are becoming more and more common and they're just gonna become more and more common and this four to five gem is just so free just just use it on who, whoever you want as you know obviously they have to fit in these uh the, the tags but just use it on your number one champion just have some fun it's a game so yeah best of the best so we got hood long shot weapon x baron zemo nick fury kingpin kate bishop and cgr so yeah these are your best of the best champions if you're going for necropolis kate bishop probably going to be your number one you know, if you're going for the CCP uh, Grand Challenges, Baron Zemo is probably going to be a solid option. And then, like, you got a bunch of these guys. Like, Longshot here. Longshot is slept on. Like, let me tell you. In Battlegrounds, he just eats up, like, most matchups. Like, he is a very slept on character. And, yeah, some people underrate him. I think he's insane. Also, Hood, you know, everyone knows how good Hood is. He's really good as well. He's, like, another really insane high damage burst champion that I think is also really slept on. Weapon X is a god tier, um, what's it called? He's god tier on defense, and he's insane on offense. Like, he, he's a really good dual threat kind of character, and if you're lucky enough to have him, he is more than a trophy champion. He is an excellent, excellent champion. He relies on being able to bleed the opponent at, on offense, though. So don't bring him, or he he really excels if you have the deep wounds mastery. But yeah, if you're just gonna throw him on defense, then you don't have to worry about that. But again, excellent option. Nick Fury, one of the best defenders in the game. You know that the whole second life is insane. I don't think we're ever gonna get him as a seven star because he's just that crazy. Plus, 
you know, just having Nick Fury on the team boost your attack by, uh, was it 10%? He's just one of the best attackers in the game. His DPS is so high, especially if you have deep wounds. Like, he is an insane champion. Like, he, he's a no-brainer, of course. Same thing with Kingpin. Like, he, I think he, I don't think we'll ever get a 7-star Kingpin either, just because, like, his damage is insane. He is so useful on both attack and defense. Like, his, his, his damage, I didn't, I was, n like, not on the Kingpin train for so long, but I was playing him on my, uh, on my friend's account, uh, at, at his house, just, like, trying to test him out, see what the, all the buzz is about, and it's like, whew, he only had him at rank 3, and I felt like I was playing a rank 5, like, Kingpin is nuts, and we talked about Kate Bishops, and then CGR, I mean, like, you, you, you see his numbers, he's a really insane, versatile champion, that is just one a really solid battlegrounds attacker and he can like get down fights in like 30 40 seconds which is pr pretty darn fast like people are sleeping on cgr i think you know feel like oh he's a little outdated I, I i don't know what they're smoking but i'd like some too but yeah these these are some really solid no-brainer options that yeah just just yeah no-brainers but now let's get to the great Basementar. So these are champions that could go for here, like that, that are contenders over here. Also could be here, but you know, I decided to sandwich them in here because I feel like it's, it's important to distinguish, you know, champions that like have the seven star version because it's like one thing is like, oh, I don't want to rank that champion up because I might get the seven star. But I mean, if you're cool, if you have the six, 200 six star and you're like, I don't care, I don't have them as a seven star or they're in the Titan Crystal, I'm not gonna get them for a while. Yeah, you might wanna rank them up now. But so starting off, we got Wiccan. So I'm not too uh, knowledgeable on Wiccan. I've seen really impressive like stuff. I think he's a real like a really good uh, defender. Insane on attack, like he, he can eat a lot of cosmic matchups up. Like he, he's he's a pretty good uh, champion. Again, I don't, I'm not too knowledgeable, so maybe he can go lower or higher. I don't know. Uh, Dragon Man. Dragon Man is one of my favorite champions, so maybe it's a little biased, but I, I think just like he is such, you know, he, he's so fun. He, he's a, a tank. He's a really, he's a good defender. I think he has a lot of utility on, on offense and, uh, you know, just a big fan of the character. He has, he is uh, slow. He is unstoppable. He can regen, power gain. Uh, incinerate has got some nice burst damage and furies and he's got immunities to uh, bleed and poison like he is a all-around solid character also he does not need the awakened ability uh, Kushala so Kushala one of the newest character or not one of the newest she's been out for a couple months now but she's a fairly recent character and she just destroys anything in her way she is a really solid option like she would have been in best of uh you know best of the best here but again she exists as a seven star she's in the seven star titan crystal right now as we speak so you may decide to rank up your your six star but you know you may just be like oh i'll, I'll get her as a seven star soon but again she's in the titan crystal so it's going to be a little bit so don't blame you if you rank up kashala insane champion mojo shoot really good defender uh slept on an attack Real, and also, you know, he could help you if you're going to do these uh, fintech challenge um, for the CCP Koreans challenges. Werewolf, I'm just going to start rapid firing these. I feel like it, the video is dragging on for a bit. Werewolf, insane. Oh my god, he was really slept on when he first came out. But like, I, I, I love Werewolf. He is one of my favorite champions. I really want him as a 7 star. Like, he is amazing. He, he exists in the Titan Crystal right now. So... You may not want to rank up your your six star, or you may you may want to again. He's in the time; it's going to be a little bit if you're waiting for the basic. Uh, Strife is another good sh uh, character. He's in the basic right now, and if you if you're looking at you know getting ready for Necropolis, Strife is a really good option. If you don't have the seven star, and you're looking at Strife as okay, you're going to be like my main attacker for Necropolis. Go with Strife. He's insane. Like if you don't have Kate Bishop, or you don't want to, you're not comfortable using Kate Bishop. You don't have, uh, you know, Aegon, go with Strife. He is really easy to play, you know, easy to ramp up. He will save you so many revives. His damage is insane. Nightcrawler. 
His buff was absolutely crazy. He just does so much damage. Uh, but the thing is, he, we're going to get the seven star at the end of the saga if you get all your uh, your tokens. So you may not want to use your uh, 45 gem on Nightcrawler if you get the seven star. Because once again, we're going to get the seven star for free as long as you uh, do all the things to get all the tokens. So I personally would not recommend using your 45 on Nightcrawler unless you know for a fact you're not going to get the seven star. Like let's say you already missed out on the on some tokens and it's like oh rats guess i'm gonna buy it or guess i'm gonna rank up i, I guess i'm not gonna be able to get the the seven star so you might have to use the six star and if that's the case six star nightcrawler uh rank five nightcrawler really really good option um colossus i i, I don't get what people hate colossus so much his damage is insane he i remember like back in the day i had a rank three colossus he was destroying, like, he was wrecking shit. He was really good in, um, what's it called, in incursions, really good for questing. He is slower in battlegrounds, so that may be why people don't like him. He's not the fastest champion, but he, he has that damage. I feel like he's a real tank and has a lot of utility. But the Simstar version uh, is in the, the basic pool, so, again... I keep, I keep specifying that the seven star exists, but like obviously we're talking about the seven star, so I'm gonna stop that because that's getting really repetitive. Domino, one of the best defenders in the game. I mean, like an unawakened Domino versus an awakened Domino at like max sig makes all the difference in the world. So if you have a Domino that is not awakened as a seven star, but you have a max uh, sig Domino as a six star, ranking up the six star may be better for you just because of that. Uh, crit fail damage is just It's so stupid and that's why she's such a good defender. She's a good champion overall. So Domino uh, Would be a really good option despite her being in the uh, seven star version like if you don't have an awakened Domino she probably belongs in Like a seven star awakened Domino, but you have the six star awakened Domino She she might belong here like max six six star Domino she goes in best of the best Bishop Insane champion once again, you know all these are insane champions Bishop is like such a He's so stupid on defense. I still don't know how to fight him that well um, I know his damage is insane like people literally get world records against winter soldier with Bishop like he, he his damage is really silly But you do have to bring a whole synergy a synergy team around him to do that But again Bishop is just nutty and he's so stupid and uh, yeah, he, he would belong in here like if the seven star didn't exist. Professor X, personally, I'm not the big fan of Professor X, but I can't deny how crazy he is. His damage is just insane. He's just really bad with the suicides. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, that, that's about it. Like, he, I don't think he has that insane of utility. He's not bad on um, defense. He's not the worst defender, but if you're a big fan of Professor X and you don't have the seven star because the seven star was only in the Gift of Guardians crystal. Yeah, Professor X, would be a nice would be a good option again his damage mwah, chef's kiss it's it's pretty insane also bloodstone i i mean this one definitely maybe a little bit biased she probably belongs more in great but like i i, I don't know I, f I feel like El elsa bloodstone is just an all-around like she's always a, a gonna be a good character you know she's not the worst character she's not the best character but um i feel like she just gets better with that additional rank like the her Again, her damage is really, really consistent. She's an all-around really consistent champion. And um, she has a lot of, lot of different uh, utility. Like, she can shrug off, like, she can she can shrug off debuffs. She can uh, do do a lot of damage. Like, she, she, she's got a lot going for her. And, again, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I think, you know, she does benefit from that uh, additional rank. Uh, Jabari Panther. The only reason she's here is because if you're planning on doing the con the cranes challenges, then you would need to rank up Jabari Panther. Uh, Crossbones. I mean, bro, the da the damage on Crossbones is insane. He's a little bit hard to play. If he if he's higher stake, he could be a he could be a pain in the ass on defense. So keep keep that in mind. You know, the seven star exists. He he's in the the basic um he's in the basic pool. Um, he does not need to be awakened, but if you have a max sig crossbones, maybe you would want to take that over on un the unawakened seven star, just because 
you get it does help your furies because each time you struggle off a debuff you gain a, you gain a fury buff so in some matchups if you're constantly struggling off debuffs the six star max sig will be better than the seven star uh bullseye oh god yeah Again, if the 7-star didn't exist, he'd be in here. He Right now, he is the best defender in the game. No no questions asked. Like, yeah, he, he's got his counters, but, like, I think objectively, Bullseye is one of, if not the most stupidest champions in the game. Like, oh, he's in the Titan Crystal right now. So it's going to be a while before you get him. So you might, if you have the 6-star, you, and you're not, you're like, okay, well, I don't open Titan Crystals that often, so... You know, you'll rock uh, the the rank the uh, the, the rank five um, six star for for the next couple months. Go for it until you get the the seven star. Again, best defender in the game. So that that's the, the biggest reason why you rank a bullseye purely for defense. He is not good on offense at all. Gore really slept on champion. I took my seven star to rank three and i do not regret to this day he does not need to be awakened or anything like that like he is a really solid attacker and he is really good on defense like i, I i've i've got some people with the you know gore on defense you know you might not think about it but like he you know that regen on him is crazy you can't really risk blocking hits otherwise he'll place like a ton of debuffs on you and he'll just chip at your health like Gore is a really good option. He's a really solid dual threat. And again, people just need to start spreading the, the name of Gore because he, he's, pre, he's pretty crazy. Gladiator, after his buff, you know, he went from Mediator to Gladiator. Personally, I'm still not I'm still not too crazy about Gladiator. Like, I, I understood he was bad before and now he's pretty damn good. Personally, I, I, I've gone, I've grown to, you know, not really like Gladiator. I, I'm not a fan of his playstyle. I don't feel like he, he's, he doesn't feel that rewarding to me. But if you're a Gladiator fan, and, you know, I can't deny that he had a really solid buff. So, yeah, Gladiator, he's in the Titan Crystal right now. I'm pretty sure he'll, he's going to be one of the next champions that come to, like, in that, the next wave to come to the basic. I'm pretty sure. Uh, thing. He, he's, uh, he just entered the Titan Crystal, so it's going to be a while before you get him. You probably want a Max Sig thing anyway, so I feel like if you have a 7-star Unawakened and a Max Sig 6-star, you should probably rank up the 6-star the because the Awakened ability on Thing is just too good. Plus, he's a really solid dual threat. Like People more put him on defense rather than offense, you know, but I think... He's, he's really underrated on attack. He, he has that, like, really big damage, like that really heavy special 2 with the 20 rock stacks. Like, use use that, go ham, stun them for a bit, and they should be dead. And I'm Warlock. So he was another champion that was in the Gifted Guardians crystal, and he, already he's, like, one of the best cosmic champions in the game. Like, again, uh, if you don't have a 7-star Adam Warlock, you know, it's you're probably not going to be able to get one for, like, another year. Or should i say have a chance at another one in like a year just because like he was only in the gift of grind crystal we don't know when we're going to see those again if we're going to see those again so you might just commit with the six star and i don't blame you or adam warlock really good option cersei's really good defender i mean what else this there's nothing really else to say about that she's not too impressive on on attack but on defense she is a monster and then there's null Re like really good dual option he, he really belongs to be at the best of the best, but he is in the basic uh, right now, so that's something to uh, take note. He doesn't need to be awakened, but having him awakened is really nice, so th uh, think about that. Like, would, would I rank up a six star max sig, or would I rank, or would I just save and uh, rank up the seven star instead? I would rank up the seven star unawakened, that's just me. Uh, so I'm just gonna generalize all these guys. I mean, these guys are fairly solid. This video is dragging. Uh, I, I, I'm a bit of a yapper myself, but yeah, these champions. I mean, there's a couple in here. You know, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Spider Supreme and Sim Supreme. I mean, these guys are pretty pretty solid Mystic champions, but they're not like your go-to's anymore. Like, there's far better than them. Like, like I said, Wiccan, Longshot, and Hood, all here, really solid champions. Um, Iceman, I think, after his buff, he's pretty crazy. I don't think he's 
he warns best of the best though like and he's easily countered on defense so Iceman I feel like I feel like even after his buff he's still not the greatest champion in the world um again I feel like after his buff it made him mostly an, an attacker rather than a defender so that's something to know about I think Sauron's a bit underrated still not one of the greatest options uh he's still mostly a defender so if you if you need a Sauron for defense rank up Sauron uh yeah I mean Agent Venom he needs the synergies to be good if you don't have synergies and he is pretty much one of the worst characters in this entire list I'd say but yeah that's your your great champions Corvus Glaive I mean health pools are just so high Corvus Glaive is pretty pretty useless I'd say so he could even warrant going to okay but I, I think I think he still is a great champion um, okay I mean these champions are just pretty mid Sorcerer Supreme uh, I think fell off she's she's not that um, relevant to the game right now Scarlet Witch same same case uh, you know even with the Quicksilver synergy I don't think she's that crazy uh, Dr. Voodoo the guilty pleasure of mine I like I still like Voodoo from time to time but you know I'm not gonna say like he belongs in the great tier or even the best of the best tier like now nah, he's far from best of the best uh, Gambit very underwhelming champion same thing with Jubilee Namor like I, I, I don't know Namor he, he's he's a bit of a weird weird one like you want him to be max sig or you don't want him at all and even then you know he, he's not the champion he used to be and that's just the case with a lot of these like Nova Red Goblin champion they're all pretty mid but I wouldn't put him in eh. um, Odin People say, oh no, Odin's a great champion, you know, maybe he belonged in Great or even the Great Plus 7 star. But, you know, I never see anyone use their Odin aside from the the Winter of Woe. Like, he's al always on the side, like, just as the sport champion. So, I, I'm not going to put Odin in anything above the, the OK tier because, you know, he just never really, I never see him get used at all. Um, and then we got eh, so these are the champions where I would not rank them at, up ever. The only one I would is Death's Guillotine when the challenge comes out, needing all the de Deathless characters. Then you might want to rank up Gilly. But Void, I mean, come on. You, you, if you honestly think Void is still relevant, then I don't know what to tell you. Like, there are so many champions in this game now, especially in the science class, that does what he does. At, at like zero six like you, void is just fell off fell out of the meta and it's not even funny like i i i don't think void is worth all of the materials nowadays plus he exists as a seven star you're not going to be able to get a sick 200 seven star void anytime soon like that is just a, a reality that does not exist um but I mean, yeah, if you if you really are one of those diehard Void players and you have the the Max Sig 200 or yeah, Max Sig uh, Void as a six star, I mean, go for it. I personally think they're far better champion out there, but yeah, Black Panther uh, Civil War, really bad champion. I, I don't know what he's doing here. Personally, Squirrel Girl. Um, very niche character. I think if you enjoy her, you, you enjoy her, but most people probably don't enjoy her. And she doesn't really do a whole lot. Like, she's got that really insane, like, burst instant bleeds. Aside from that, she doesn't have, like, really any utility whatsoever. Um, Phoenix has a couple good synergies, but I, I don't think, you know, it warrants any being on the level of, like, any of these characters. And then Super Scroll, I mean, Super Scroll has to be the worst character in this entire list. Like, unless one of these guys are really bad, or like King Groot, Deathless King Groot's really bad, like, Super Scroll has to be probably the worst champion on this entire list. But speaking of this entire list, that has been the entire list. So, uh, let me know who you guys plan on using your 4 to 5 gems on. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably be. I gotta make a decision quickly, or maybe I'll wait and see. I'm probably not gonna wait and see. Just because, you know, these guys will exist as 7 stars, so. Plus, I have a couple characters I'm, eye I'm eyeing right now, so. Yeah, I'll probably make a video on who I decide to uh, in 
in the future when I get the, the gem, of course. But yeah, let me know who you plan on uh, taking up to rank 5 with the, the gem. And um, let me know what you think. If you think I rated characters too poorly or too highly, let me know. Um, yeah, this is my first ever tier list, so uh, I'd like uh, I'd like some feedback. But uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And um, this has been the first ever The Spectre tier list. Goodbye.